Okay, today I'm going to be showing you a liquid that changes color depending on how you look at it. So if you had to choose a color for this liquid, what color would you say it is? How about we vote on it right now? Okay, so you took your vote. Now let's do another vote. Okay, now that you've voted, let me just pour it into this cup and see if you think the same thing. Huh. Okay, now let's take a different vote. If you had to choose now, what color would you say this liquid is? Let's take a vote. Now I'm also gonna clean up a liquid that I spilled. So what color of liquid would you say this is that I just cleaned up? Okay, so what if I told you that all of the three liquids that you just saw, that you probably voted for the red liquid, the yellow liquid, and the blue liquid, what if I told you that they were all the same thing? Okay, so watch this. I have my red liquid in here, but watch when we look at it from above. <laughs> totally yellow. See, here's red, yellow, red, yellow. Now you can see it a little bit clearer when I just shine some light through it. So you can see this yellow light coming through here, but then if I do it from above, look at the red light. So red, yellow, red, yellow. Okay, so to figure out how this is working, look what happens when I have a tall test tube of this material and I shine green light on it. Notice how the green light can go through it. And if I shine red light on it, the red light can easily go through it. In fact, it just looks like a clear liquid now with the red light on it. Likewise, if I have a thicker jar of it, you can see that the red light goes through to the back. But now if I change it to green light, notice that it doesn't go through it. It no longer looks clear. So here's red light. See how clear it looks? So you can see that when I have a thin layer of it, the green light gets through. But when I have a thick layer of it, the green light does not get through. Whereas the red light gets through on the thick one, see it reflecting in the back there? and the thin one. See it reflecting in the back? So what's really going on here is depending on the thickness of liquid layer that we're looking through, it looks like it's a different color. If we just had a normal liquid like this, it doesn't matter which direction we're looking through. It's just either a lighter red if we have a thin layer or a darker red if we have a thick layer. It doesn't change from yellow to red. So now we can begin to see why this is working. So based on our light experiment we just did, we saw that if we have a thick layer or a thin layer, both of them lit red light through. But only the thin layer lets green light through, the thick layer doesn't. And because red and green light together make yellow light, that means that a thin layer will be yellow. But a thick layer is red. Because red light always go through, but now all of the green light from these white lights in the room is getting blocked and so only the red light comes through and so it looks red. And this is called dichromatism. See how this looks red here? And then if I swirl it around and get a thin layer, now it's yellow. And the chemical that I'm using here is called bromophenol blue. But where does the blue come from? Well, this is actually also an acid base indicator. So when it's under acidic conditions, it's red, but if you put it under basic conditions, then it turns blue. One way to do that is just by adding a base like sodium hydroxide, or because I don't have a lot of acid in here, you can just pour it on a napkin because the napkin turns it a little bit basic. So now it turns blue because the cellulose in the napkin made it a little bit basic, and so now it turns to a blue color. So bromophenol blue is pretty cool because it can change from blue to red to yellow just depending on how you're looking at it. But technically the blue color is a chemical reaction happening. But the red and the yellow color is not a chemical reaction, it's just a difference in how the light is absorbed in the material. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. Leave me any comments or questions that you have about this video. And head over to theactionlab.com if you haven't yet to check out my new subscription box. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.